Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Reagan. Uh, I do all things clean beauty on this channel so if you're into that click the subscribe button down below. And today we're just going to be doing a chatty get ready with me uh, talking about all the makeup I've been using in the last couple of weeks. So I've really put all this makeup through the ringer so I have a lot to say about it all. Um, but just before we get started I haven't been filming and a lot of you know because I posted in the community tab here on YouTube that my aunt and uncle passed away uh, trying not to cry and I was with my family for their funeral. They passed away pretty tragically and suddenly um, they were walking down the sidewalk and someone came up behind them and hit them. I just want to thank everyone for their outpour of love and support uh, during this time. I kind of need to have an outlet right now, so I am just going to leave it at that. Believe me, um, your prayers and words of encouragement have really helped. I'm just grieving right now, and again, I just kind of need to do something that's like not related to this. So I just wanted to get that out there, say why I haven't been here, and let's just roll in and start talking about the makeup and putting it on my face. All right, so the first thing I'm using, this is the Saint Concealer, and I have this in shade Alabaster, which is very fair. So my thoughts on this concealer, it's a mid concealer. It definitely isn't like a top ranking one, but it's not awful. It's not like a bottom ranking one. And my reason is, is once it's blend out, it doesn't have the coverage of like a Han concealer or Ilia or Fit Glow. Those are like my top three concealers. This one is just okay. The coverage is okay and the shade is okay, but I don't know. It's, this is how I would put it. If I was at the store and it was 20% off, I would buy it again, but it wouldn't be the one that like out of every concealer I would reach for because I think this is available at a few different retailers. So if I was like in store and saw it and it was on sale, I'd pick it up again. But it isn't like a first rate concealer for me. So I'm just using this everywhere that my discoloration or I have blemishes is like everywhere that's prominent. Then I'm just using a brush to blend this out. And it kind of has like a satin y finish to it. Like it's not matte, but it's not luminous. So it is very pale. It's a fine one. Again, just not a top for me. And then I have been using the Westman Atelier. I was about to say Ere Perez, but it's not that. So I've been using the Westman Atelier. This is their foundation stick. And I have this in Atelier Zero. And I'm just doing some stripes on my face and a couple of dots, not a ton. So I do like this foundation. I think it's a pretty darn good one. It has a nice, lovely finish to it. I will say creams are not my favorite foundations though. Um, the coverage, it, it looks nice. Like my skin looks really, really good with it, but I prefer something that's a little bit dewy, more luminous. And that's why I like, um, like the Ilia face oil tint stuff. What else do I like? I do like the Exa foundation and this again, there's nothing wrong with it and I like it. It's just not my absolute fave. It's weird. It's not my fave, but it like looks good on. So yeah, I know that's odd. Okay. And then I've been using the Cara Weiss. This is their setting powder. And this is actually my second pan of this. Just smelling it, making sure it hasn't gone bad. It hasn't. One thing they've changed about their setting powder, it now has a light scent to it. So if you've smelled some of like the uh, Cara Weiss skincare, this now kind of faintly smells like that. So I'm just putting this under my eyes and kind of focusing it in my T-zone. Just pressing it lightly everywhere else. I've liked this enough. Um, it's not my favorite press setting powder, but this is like the second one that came out. Airy Perez came out and then this came out. Um, and now I really do like the Vapor one the most as a press setting powder. It's just really, really lightweight. Like this one is lightweight, but it is a little bit more grainy and feel, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it blends out on my face and doesn't feel that way or look that way. It just isn't as like arrowroot powdery thin as like the vapor one. Okay, and I forgot to bring a bronzer with me, but uh, a couple of blushes that I've been using because I'm not using bronzer. I've been using the vapor. This is their Intrigue Aura Multi Stick. So Aaliyah sent this to me and I did a whole uh, Vapor Beauty Masterclass with 
one of their makeup artists and one thing I learned from her is she uses this like on the back of her hand before she uses it, uses it excuse me on her face so this one I don't like the shade of it as much I'm just going to use a little bit because it's a little bit darker and I think that this is a shade that she designed and we definitely have different like undertones to us like this is it's a little bit more like it'd be burnt red and I prefer something a little bit more pink. Yeah, it's just more of a shade thing. The wear of it's fine. I actually have really like the Aura Multi Sticks, but I did use this um, and it's fine. It's just not my favorite shade. And then this is the LYS, which means Love Yourself Beauty Blush. And whenever I first did my review of LYS, this was not a favorite of mine. And something I learned in that Vapor Masterclass is I'm putting my blush up higher actually and like right along my cheekbone instead of the apples of my cheeks. Just kind of like gives a more lifted look. And then I'm putting a little bit around my hairline too. Okay, but anyway, when I did my first initial review of this, I didn't love it. And I'll be honest, I kind of wish they came out with a powder blush just because I think it would last longer like cream products tend to go bad faster but as I used this this week I actually liked it and I did use it on my lips I'm just trying to use the residual before I wipe it away and it was nice I mean it actually is a multi-use product they don't advertise it as that but I did use it on my lips and like got away with it and it looked nice and lasted a you know a bit it wasn't like the most long lasting on my lips but on my cheeks it's nice I think it's a nice color and I don't remember if I said it but I had shade confident in this and yeah it is nice it's very pigmented and I like this actually a lot more after using it like for two weeks straight basically than I did when I first initially tried it. Like in the beginning, it wasn't like a flop by any means. It just wasn't like a favorite. And highlight. So this is the Han Skincare Cosmetics. This is their ballerina highlight. So I like this. It's a very affordable option in the clean realm. So I'm just putting this above the blush, like above my cheekbone. And I like this because it's like this pink icy shade which just goes really well with my undertones and just looks really natural. Like it just gives a really nice illumination. And then I think I'm basically done with all my base that I did. All right and then I've been using the Ere Perez. This is their clear brow gel and I've also been using the Rowan. This is their micro pencil. It's their Val brow and I have this in shade light. So I'm going to use this first and then I'll set everything with the Ere Perez gel. And yes, I do try and roll my R's when I say it. So what I have liked about this product is I like the shade of it. So it just looks really nice and natural. It's a very hard to find a blonde pencil. I've talked about this multiple times. So I'm just like beating a dead horse talking about it. But yeah, it is something that's like not easy. Like they're either too dark and brown or too red or orange. It's like I'm looking for like something that's a little bit lighter than taupe and this gives me that. And then I have the Area Perez. This is their clear aloe gel. Um, and I like this enough. I actually like the gel. The wand isn't my favorite because it's like a silicone wand and it's just kind of odd. It's like Christmas tree shaped. I don't know. It's just not my favorite wand. The gel is fine though. My absolute favorite clear brow gel is the Eco Brow, but this one, it was good. And I like to use my makeup. Even if it's like not an absolute fave, I'll still like use it as long as it's not awful. And then eyeshadow. So I did pull my Ilia. This is their cool nudes palette. I have really liked this. So I forgot to bring, well, I didn't even forget. I just brought one like all over shadow brush. So I ended up just using my fingers with this. So I'm just gonna use this like nudie kind of white shade. I don't know what that tone is. But I'm using this just all over my lid and they're super buttery and easy to use like this. Like it's not hard. Okay, and then I'm using the sparkly metallic shade. Like the quality of these is very good, but I'm using this just all over my lid. And then I'm using the Lawless. This is their bio glitter eyeshadow. So the thing about this, the packaging, I love sustainable packaging and this is made out of paper, but sometimes it's not the ideal way. Here's the deal. This does have like a metal um, pan on the bottom of this. And this is like a sparkly just glitter you press in over you've already done your eyeshadow to kind of add an extra pop. This stuff though, the packaging, it was sitting on my hotel uh, sink 
And you know how hotel sinks are, like everything gets wet if it's sitting there. So this ended up getting wet. All my other makeup is fine. This thing is like all misshaped now. So that is something that, you know, I pulled this out specifically because my friend Jamie's like, that's something that you're going to like forget you even have. And I took a vow to myself like, okay, I'm gonna really try and use this because I don't wanna forget that I have it. And yeah, it's still, it just isn't something I love and I'm obsessed with. I kind of think this is something that you kind of could just put in a palette. I don't think it needs to be its own like individual product. And yeah, I just, I wouldn't really recommend this. Like it looks good, you know, when it's on and I just again use my fingers, but I don't know. I just think just put one or two of these shades in a palette and like don't, I just feel like it's like wasting more material kind of thing. Cause yeah, anyway. Okay, and then I learned a new method floor, 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 excuse me, applying eyeliner. So I did use a couple this week. I used the Hint one, and then I also used the Birds Fuse one. So in that Vapor Masterclass I did, what she does is she puts her eyeliner on the back of her hand like this, and this is, again, like the celebrity makeup artist's way. And then she takes, like, a thin eyeshadow brush, which is like an eyeliner brush or whatever she had, and she rubs it in to the black and then she does her eyeliner from there using the brush and it makes it a lot easier to do like a smoky eye line when you do this and I really have like taken this method and used it quite a bit because it just is super easy. I can really get into my lash line. I can like smoke this out, make it a lot liner. It's not like a harsh black line and I make it a little bit thicker than I would like the typical line. But yeah, this is just a method that I would recommend it, especially, I've just noticed like older women, like my mother, a harsh black line, I feel like kind of ages you. I don't know what it is, but I was like looking at someone who's like about my mom's age and I was like, yeah, I think this would work better for someone who more mature. So yeah, Burt's Bees is like my ride or die all time fave. The hint one is nice. One thing I do like about it, it has the smudger on one end. I don't know why I packed both of these, but I did. So I used them and there we are. And then I've been using the Glossier Mascara. So this is just in the lash, like black. And okay, not my favorite mascara because it's it's what it says it is. I mean, I knew this wasn't going to be super volumizing, but I like something with a little bit more volume to it. This is just a nice day-to-day -day mascara, but I prefer something, again, with a little bit more volume. It has a silicone wand. It's more just like defining, and that's about it. So, you know, good like day-to-day -day work mascara situation. So easy enough to use and everything. Like, it's fine. It's just, I, it's again, it's kind of along with the Saint concealer, where if there's a sale or, and it was bundled with something or something like that, and I got it, I would use it again, but it's not an, a fave or something. Okay, and then I used this lip liner this week from Thrive Cosmetics. So this is the Khaki shade. So this is their collab that they did with Khaki. And I really like the shade of it. So it's like a, it's like a brown shade, but it has enough red tones in it to like make it, I wouldn't say natural because clearly this isn't like my natural lip color, but uh, it's, it's more neutral. Neutral's a better term for that. And it's so creamy that I actually can use this as like a lip product unto itself. I'm not going to because I used a ton of other stuff this week I want to talk about, but this one, very nice. Very nice. My mom loves this brand though. Like I got her their mascara and then also their eye definers, like their, I was gonna say clear, cream eyeshadow sticks. My mom loved it. Um, she wants to order more of the eyeshadow sticks because they're just easy for her to use. Like she's not a super, um, crazy makeup wear, you know, like she's not going to spend the time and even do a look like this. Like I think this is really simple, but like my mom just wants to use one product and go and she loved that. And then I did use, this is a newer product to me. This is the Vapor. This is the Hint Lip Tint stuff. And what is this even called? Their Lip Nectar. So I think it's somewhat like of a fusion of a lipstick and a tinted lip balm and it's really nice like it's really hydrating it has nice pigment to it i'm gonna try and blend this in kind of mix these colors together so yeah that's just a nice like lip look and then i did use a couple of other lip products i just want to talk about them so i did use this mob 
mob beauty there refillable i think this was actually a lip conditioner like more of a liquid lipstick this was a pretty shade and it's really soft and moisturizing and then i did use as like a more totally opaque lipstick this is the red apple lipstick coat this is their kissimmee shade of pink and one thing i like about the red apple lipsticks that like the other ones don't have is it does kind of stain your lips a little bit which was really good for like mask wearing and again i started off talking about this like we did have my aunt and uncle's funeral and i wore it during that and like just a nice like all day kind of lipstick because it stays on and it does like tint the lips and everything and then lastly this is one that i just love uh i like grew to love it even more during my time away because i used it so much so this is the in beauty project glaze number two i like this more than i think it's like their strawberry or something it's like more of a pinky I think it's froze. It's a pinky frozen shade. This one is more of like a berry jam shade. I love it. I think the shade's really pretty. It's really moisturizing, nice and thick on the lips. I love the packaging and I love how the doe foot is. It's like really fat. So yeah, it smells good and it's just a nice one. I, you know, I would recommend these and they're pretty affordable. Alrighty guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. Again, thank you so much for your kind words. It really does mean a lot to me. You know, grief's hard and it's going to be hard for a long time. There's this picture that I saw online about grief and it's like, you know, you grow around grief. It's like that hole is always there and that's how I feel. Like I have a very small family and losing any of it, uh, losing anyone is hard. Um, I'm losing both of them at the same time. It's just really shocking and hard. So yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. Let me know your thoughts on any of this makeup and I will see you next time and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world and please hug your family members for me.